Hey guys and welcome back to another Valorant video now in this one we got something a little bit different even maybe above my pay grade it took me a hot minute to make this video it literally took me a while to put this together and we're going to be looking at agent concepts made by the community and some of these are amazing it's like we're dating all the way back to the beta until now and some of these abilities ideas would just flourish so well in the game and I wanted to take a look at them. Of course, the sources are always in the description, so check out the artists themselves. And I tried hard to like do some editing or give ideas and examples of abilities to keep you guys engaged. But uh, yeah, fingers crossed you guys enjoy it. If you do, make sure to hit that like button, consider subscribing, join the Discord down below, and let's get straight into it. Starting with agent number one, we have Chinoa, which was originally made by Bayleaf97 on the Valorant subreddit. Now, honestly, this is funny because Chinoa, if you look at the picture, looks a lot like our girl Sky, but the concept was actually made way before Sky, which is really, really interesting. I do wonder if maybe just the idea just was similar or if Riot took inspiration, but. Yeah, it, it's kind of cool, but let me run you through her ability. So basically, the ability number one would be Ghost Tracks, which, re which reveals the most recent footsteps that the opponents have left in the last 10 seconds. And all I could imagine was maybe Sky popping her heel, but instead of it being a heel, it reveals all the footsteps in the area, which would be pretty interesting. I do wonder if it'd be confusing if someone ran in circles, but the actual concept is really, really cool in my opinion. The next ability would be ability number two, which is Screech, which would deafen every enemy for a short duration without or sorry, within hearing distance. So you would screech, I'm thinking kind of like an animal screech, maybe if the wolf screeched, or instead of a bird popping as a blind, it pops as a huge screeching noise, and then everyone in the area, enemy-wise, couldn't hear for a little while. That sounds insane. Imagine taking away volume instead of taking away vision. That's an interesting one. I actually really like that idea. Let me know what you think about that, though. The next one would be the signature ability, which would be third eye, which would place a uh, wahoo on your shoulder for a short duration to have him watch your back. This one, I don't know how it would be. All I could imagine is kind of the wolf, but in reverse, except maybe instead of you looking through it, it would make a noise or say someone's behind you or some sort of indicator to have your back. That, that's an interesting one. The last one would be Soaring Owl, the ultimate ability, which would send Wahoo to, de to a deceased ally somewhere on the map and turn him into a ghost that, that can then roam the battlefield. Wahoo can be hit by an enemy team in the air if spotted. This I didn't quite understand. I don't know if it's like someone who would be in ghost mode who can go scout for information. That seems kind of insanely strong, but the concept could be cool and it maybe could be balanced where let's say... The spirit comes out so instead of like a, a sage revive you'd come up from the ground then you have a certain amount of time maybe 10 seconds to run around maybe five seconds if you can go through walls just to gather information before you kind of fade away that would be interesting and i love the creativity when it comes to fan concepts this is the number one reason i like covering them the creativity is through the roof but yeah that's our first agent let's move on to the next one next up we have mamuro and this guy looking sp Spicy man, this is one of the first community made Valorant agent concepts so way back during the beta or maybe just near release this this guy who looking spicy and let me let me let me tell you guys his ability so basically ability number one would call would be called heaven roar which is equip a paper version of the map you are playing on select the place where you want to send lightning and press your right mouse button after 1.5 seconds lightning strikes the place dealing 40 damage and blinding the enemies works up to 80 meters away and the blind lasts 1.5 seconds all i can imagine instead of like the ipad brimstone has it opens up a paper map and then when you click kind of like a sova arrow but a lightning bolt comes down striking them blinding them for a little while if you can even hit it right so it'd be for clearing corners there's no guarantee you'll actually be able to hit someone it'd be something tricky to use but really satisfying to hit which i love ability number two would be called overload which is equip a discharge of electricity and upgrade different types of weapons which is kind of crazy so something like a pistol will allow you to mark the enemy an smg or ar have increased damage by 10 percent and rifles would reload faster something like that 
is quite interesting. Something, something different, a more unique version of the self buff, other than what we have, like a stim beacon. You know what I mean? Something in, more interesting would be something I'd love to see. The signature ability to be called Thunder Cutter. Equip a blade of thunder to deal damage or destroy a projectile flying at you. This one, I assume it's like a strong melee and maybe you'd have extended range. So if your a Sova darts coming, a flash is coming, you could use it very quickly to kind of destroy it. That would be interesting. I think an ability like that alone would be cool without dealing damage. Just any sort of projectile coming at you, you could sort of, sort of break in half. Kind of like a wind wall um, from League of Legends, like Yasuo blocks all projectiles, but it'd just be one projectile and very quickly. I just don't know how useful it would be, but it would be quite interesting to be implemented. The last one would be his ultimate. <laughs> this one's so sick. So Rising Thunder. Equip a Blade of Thunder and sacrifice 50% of your health to transform into an electric demon armed with a blade that deals 50 damage. Any damage will inflict periodic damage to the enemy for 30 seconds and the ult lasts 35 seconds. So it's huge. And the idea is that you become a melee destroyer. And I actually think this is underpowered because if you sacrifice half your health, and only deal 50 damage you have to swing three times so unless they're swinging super fast it'd be weird i think something like a genji alt in it is kind of the idea here though again this is something i wouldn't want to see because it would absolutely destroy the tactical shooter part of it but maybe some sort of one shot ultimate but you have to be in close range would be okay but you can only hit one person i think they could make it tactical in their own right by tweaking certain things but this is funny like absolutely amazing imagine some sort of melee focused agent in valorant i would be down for it as long as it's done right for number three we have the agent marino and this guy is actually my favorite other than looking sick his abilities are my personal favorite to a point i think i could see them in the game in a fun way that doesn't ruin valorant like at all so basically his ability number one would be water slide marino shoots water to create a road all agents increase their speed by 30 percent it disappears over time and all i could think is something like a sage orb but it goes more in a straight line and a much bigger radius and then you could kind of slide across it you know increase 30 percent and it's all agents so it could also be used poorly if let's say you're being chased it's more so to reposition with your team quickly cross areas quickly it's a very strategic ability that i think opens up a lot of play without being too strong so i love this one ability number two would be marina trench creates a hole in a wall through which all agents can go and eventually it disappears so i'm thinking kind of like bard from league of legends create some sort of hole and then you can kind of whoop teleport through that uh, wall i think this is really cool as an ability you'd have to cost a lot and at first i think it might be too strong because there's a lot of areas where like no other <laughs> i mean it just become too important right like certain strategies will re rely on him but maybe if they made it only certain walls maybe oh maybe only walls you could shoot through but then maybe it'd be too weak no idea but i love the concept so i gotta say i like the idea of it being something that the game finally goes into but again maybe it would sacrifice the tactical shooter portion but I don't know, Riot's gotten pretty crazy with things. Um, he has a signature ability, which would be Dense Structure. Marino can give an ally or himself a shield of 50 units that reduces the odd and reduces the odd ability of footsteps. This one's crazy because a shield for 50 is already a heavy shield. So imagine someone with 200 health. I don't know how people would feel about that. I mean, kind of like Reyna, right? I don't know how people would feel about being like it being a signature ability. And the fact that it reduces your footsteps is kind of crazy, but I like how unique it is. You know what I mean? Maybe just the shield or just eliminating footsteps. One or the other could be really cool, but probably not both. <laughs> <laughs> Lastly, he has his ultimate, which is super cool. The Last Chance. Marino drinks water with Radiantite, resetting and restoring all of his abilities. But that's not enough. All the abilities are then improved. So Water Slide movement speed is from 30% to 50%. Marina Trench can only be used by allies. Dense Structure allows the cancellation of increased damage to the head. So... I think this one would be too strong because not only would you get all your abilities back for free, but you'd also then have them improved. I think it's too strong. I think just something where he drinks Radiantite water, but then all your abilities are reset. If not used, you still have to rebuy them. Something like that would be super cool, right? Imagine using your water slide, popping your ultimate, then using it again immediately. Some sort of unique strategy or double, oh my god, double wall teleports. I don't know. This guy is someone I would main instantly, but... Probably someone who would be too strong for the game.
Next we have Summit and uh, yeah, this is an agent that is in clearly inspired by Egypt and its mythology and I gotta say her kit is bussin'. The ability number one is dual fire. Equip a dual fire speaker, fire to throw the speaker and then activate the speaker to create false gunfire sounds that last 2.5 seconds. This one's so sick. Imagine throwing a speaker somewhere as a trap and then using it to make a distraction. We've seen this concept with Yoru's footsteps though I think Something like this could be more interesting, or maybe it could be kind of completely useless. I'm not too sure. And I don't know how the gunfire sounds will mimic what weapons are being used in the game, but the concept itself seems pretty cool. The ability number two would be Amplify. Equip an amplifying grenade. Fire to throw the grenade upon landing, the grenade goes Convert. Upon activation, the grenade turns into a molly, which will amplify enemy footsteps and allow teammates to hear walking. This seems insane. So even if you're shift, you'll then be heard. That's crazy. And I think of it like a like a killjoy molly, right? Thrown in a little area. That area creates an insane amount of amplification of the noise. So like completely cancels out an area. And it would probably have to last a lot longer than something like a killjoy molly to be useful. But you could it's just a zoning tool that would be very, very interesting. The signature ability would be a Scarab's Cry. Equip a Scarab Beetle. Fire to throw the beetle on the ground. Upon enemy contact, the beetle will activate and latch onto the enemy, making them hear the cries of a beetle. The enemy is deaf until they remove the beetle. So this is kind of like a raised boom bot, but then attaches onto you like a cipher camera, and instead of revealing, it will basically deafen you. This is the second time a uh, agent concept is revolved around. <laughs> This is the second time a uh, agent concept is revolved around like deafening and I wonder if Riot has played with that like actually blocking out audio as a disability instead of like a flash right which would be a visual one that's I don't know that sounds so interesting to me the last thing would be the ultimate ability which is hear no evil equip a sound device fire to activate the device everyone within a radius is rendered deafened for eight seconds so similar to how ko has a silence ability and then his ultimates a more crazy silence ability same idea here though with deafen again very very cool imagine like a ko pop but then everyone is silenced i don't know maybe that's too insane like you silence and you can all go running and you know confidently they don't know where you're coming from. Oh my god, that sounds scary, bro. Valent's already a horror horror game sometimes. I can only imagine with this. I don't know. That, that'd be super cool though. Last but not least, we have Vice. Now, let me be honest. The agent concepts visually are insane. Like, look, look. Look at this dude bro like they're so cool looking they do so well huge round of applause to artists again all links down below but anyways vice is an anti-hero duelist type agent who relies on mobility and flanks in order to destroy his opponents so ability number one is soul fire press to equip a soul fire spark you can shoot it at any corpse even through a wall to light a soul fire on top of it you can then reactivate it instantly to start a fast acting blinding explosion originating above the corpse. Enemies are only informed that a corpse has been trapped if they are within 5 meters of it. Vice can see all corpses through walls. So I think this is ally or enemy. He can use corpses to set up traps. This one is cool in concept. I don't think it'll work because way too limited right like I know Reyna relies on abilities but that already is a huge hindrance to her and I couldn't imagine traps then like they could the corpse can literally be in the middle of nowhere sometimes they even fly off to the side I wouldn't I like the idea but I don't think it'd work <laughs> ability number two would be dreaded pathway press to equip a targeter fire at any corpse to channel to it even through walls after channeling you swap places with the corpse transporting your talisman with you to the same locations enemies can only hear the sound from your arrival location okay this one again using the corpse but because there'd be some sort of radius where you can then teleport to a corpse and switch spots with it this one's a lot cooler because if you get a kill uh, let's say see long enemies are pushing and then you teleport behind them using a corpse it's way more doable there's a lot more play and counterplay with this than something like a trap this one just sounds insane this one sounds so sick his signature ability would be called intenjutsu vice instantly places a destructible talisman on the ground beneath him killing an en enemy while the talisman is on the ground teleports you back to it the talisman can remain on the ground indefinitely but becomes inactive after you teleport back to it so basically it's like Yoru's teleport but it relies on you getting a kill so kind of useless since we already know Yoru's teleport 
took a while to get used to and people are just now using it well so this would be a useless ability so you can kind of pretend a yoru teleport would be more useful without the kill being involved but it does stay indefinitely so instead of it being rechargeable or you get it back it stays there forever so it's kind of a trade-off that that'd still be pretty cool the ultimate ability is really interesting so try to pay attention here it's called double cross after a brief channel vice swaps places with his talisman vice's next kills uh places another invinc uh, invincible and invisible talisman on the ground and a and a soul fire spark on the target corpse okay let me try to explain this you pop your ultimate it immediately places a talisman underneath you that you can teleport back to However, when you get a kill, it puts a new talisman underneath you and puts a trap on the enemy body. So you start creating this kind of minefield. This is where it actually kind of works because you start zoning immediately as you're pushing up. It's an aggressive playstyle. However, at any point when you get stuck, you can then teleport back to your talisman and kind of reset yourself. So it's like a it's like a hyperactive hybrid between Yoru and Phoenix. Sounds too confusing. But he offers a lot of interesting gameplay mechanics, and I think he definitely deserved a spot on this list. But yeah, that covers all the agents I wanted to talk about. Let me know which one your favorite was in the comments down below. Personally, it's still Mermino for me, like the fan that the ice slides and everything sounds so fun. I absolutely love the idea. But yeah, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Um, hope you guys did enjoy the content. Took a while. Let me know if you even like this video idea. I mean, I, I'll know by the views. If this video flops. It is what it is. I tried my best. It was worth a shot because if it does well, you guys will be seeing more fan concepts. And uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one.